And then was the Bren class. Oh, I can already get the Brens. Huh. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I probably want to get Franco Tosi and company established so I can get the cheaper Brin class. And there we go. Center for Military Modernization is done. We can nationalize the air industry so we can get the development of synthetic resources. I think... We could also build up Latium, which will give us some free in infrastructure there. Or we get the free military factories. No, let's go for the free military factories. And we're going to need to start putting them in something. And I think that here... Support equipment definitely needs some love. We could also definitely do with some aircraft. How are we doing in terms of aircraft? We could get the 37s. So actually, the Caperonis are 36s. They're not actually that old. That's a cast, though. It's not a fighter. The fighters are pre-war. So we do want to get the G50s as soon as possible. So we're not going to waste time on aircraft just yet. Instead, I'm going to go one more on you, one more on you, one more on you, and three and two. Actually, no. Let's go all in on the heavy weapons, because I need to upgrade my light infantry to regular infantry. And then we are also going to say, you know what, I would like one of my core steel mills back. So that's 30 iron, 25 coal needed in surplus. Yugoslavia requests sale of aeroplanes. I can sell you bombs. Which gives me consumer goods for a little while. Um, we have a lot of stuff being produced right now. Um, Piedmont wants to have a shipyard. That'll be finished in December. That finishes in November. Tuscany down one. Tuscany up one. And there we go. That should be done in December for both of them, more or less. And we should get some pretty cheap dockyards because of it. Shortly after the battles of Beijing and Tianjin, Chinese and Japanese forces exchanged small arms fire in the districts of across Shanghai. This confrontation led to months of brutal urban warfare with severe casualties on both sides. In the end, the dogged Chinese resistance was not enough to deter the Japanese forces. With two great victories under the Japanese belt, there seems to be no end in sight for the war. Diel Reap, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hey, Serene Living, how are you doing? I see France is still doing fine. It's hard for France to screw up when they're still at peace. War hasn't broken out yet. Still only 37. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyway, it looks like my Mountaineers are making some pretty decent progress in punching through. They'll get Infantry Leader soon. These are all hills. I might actually switch out Generals just so that some of the others can get a bit of a bloodying. Tank platoons are done. Nationalized Air Industries done. Well, we're going to continue with our research. Now, are any of these for artillery? Organization supply consumption would be amazing. That's artillery buff. I want overwhelming firepower!
Motti tactics. Engineers trickle back up. Light infantry speed, infantry speed. 20% increase, which is fairly hefty. However, they lose a minus 30 organization. They regain organization very quickly. They gain entrenchment. Enemy air support's massively reduced. Division attack on core territory. Ooh. But no, I think I'm going to go for the overwhelming firepower and deep battle. Especially deep battle. Let's get that uh, supply consumption going. Oh. Oh, this is only for the Soviets. Only for Germany. Only for the Soviets. Only for the US. Only for France. Only for Finland. Mutti is Finland. Oh, I thought these were independent for each nation. Oh, that's not as cool as systems, I thought. Alright, integrated fire support it is. Motti sounds Italian. Oh, and the submarines. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back and do that later. Um, we could upgrade Libya at this point. Oh no, if we do development synthetic oil, we can get education reform. Let's do that. And then we have another two military factories, which... We also need to get better air power, too. You know what? Let's do that one first, because I want to start producing these fighters now. And in the meantime... Um... Could do with more artillery, could do with more support equipment. Support equipment just consistently low. Well, easy way to buff that up. Let's just make some more. And we're working on fighters right now, so let's get that production cost reduction too. And this will also mean that we research it faster. I might need to do this. Does this make sense? Uh, any difference? 180 days. If I switch you out for... What did I start doing? It was the army doctrine, wasn't it? Whoops, not here. Yeah. Still one eighty. So it's only the plus one hundred percent research buffs that matter if you refresh the research. If it's a design company, it's automatically applied. Okay, who else do we want to get some experience? Messe, maybe? Ambrosio? Already has hill fighter. What are we fighting in at the moment? So, Valencia is actually urban. That's forest. That's hills. That's forest. I mean, the other thing we could do is get Prasca some more experience. No, that's not a bad shout. Let's go and put Prasca in. Ah, upgraded artillery. Nice. Let's go ahead and start producing those. And we have another free dockyard because of the dockyards we've been building. So let's get another Septembrini, I guess. Seems those are nice and cheap. And then research, we were going to go and get the Rin class. And before that finishes, we are going to want the ship designer. Oh, hold on. No. <laughs> Uh, we are actually getting guns right now. We want to make sure we have the gun upgrade. Yeah, heavy weapon production cost reduction. And we just finished the artillery, unfortunately, so we didn't get Breda. We may as well get Breta. Then at least the heavy weapons will have that cheaper cost.
And we just need to make sure that we have the ship designer before we get Bryn. There's the synthetic oil, so now we can get the education reform. We're going to make it so that our people are so educated they can actually write. Because right now, apparently, they can't. And there it is, the braider is done. Hooray, just in time. Uh, we can go ahead and upgrade the Brixia Model 35 mortar, which I think would probably be a good move. Although, air is already being worked on. Yeah, let's get the mortars. Yeah, I'm mostly just trying to get experience from my commanders in Spain. Uh, we can upgrade our weapons to the new version. And then research slots. Going to continue down the integrated convoy defense for the escort efficiency. And then... Ah, it was a Doctrine that finished. So we can get the C3I, which gives plus 10 organization and also 20% more division experience gain. That sounds like it would be excellent. We can also do army reform and navy reform. And I think that's actually going to be the last of the army reforms needed. What's Commander? Wizard. Oh, that's Commando. Get a tiny bit of Ranger. Okay, fighter sweeps. That will lead to more air attack for all of my aircraft, which I think would be a great plan. Just continue down those doctrines. Actually got a cut off here as well. Nice. Forza, forza. These guys are just not losing any organization. They just keep on attacking. Mediterranean dominance is done, and we're building the last of the dockyards. Perfect. I think from January I might actually change out the bricks here for construction. How long is it going to take now? 216 days. Better. can always come back to the bricks here afterwards. Okay, you guys are going to need plans to go after Barcelona. You already have Mountaineer, though, and this is hills and mountains. Um, I'm actually thinking that I might bring in Messe just so we can get the terrain buffs. Curious about the tank bug. Am I able to check that it didn't happen again? No, because, uh, maybe. I don't actually know how they found out about it. Because it was to do with the number of tanks that France had on the French border. And right now all of the German tanks are up here in the north. It's fixed. I was playing Blaze today and yesterday in Germany does produce tanks. Okay, good. The fall of Nanjing, the capital of the Republic of China. Nanjing has been occupied by forces of the Empire of Japan. Despite fierce resistance from the walled city's Chinese defenders, Japanese troops managed to capture Zhongshan Gate and fought their way into the city. They're actually making pretty big headway down there. Diverted bomber production no longer being done. We're still getting a lot of civilian factory production thing. However, it is 38, so we probably want to turn this down and start working on the old mill factories now. Pronto, signore. 
How should we get through here? Rather the Spaniards are. I'm not really having much to do with this. And there's the education reform. Good. So we can actually continue researching. No, wait, it's 38 now. It's time for computing machines. And then... Libyan development for some more civilian factories. I mean, at some point we probably should do the military modernization so we can continue the naval rearmament and get down to Mara Nostrum. And we probably should also develop Ethiopia at some point. Let's do Libya first. Libyan development and then Libyan refineries. And we should also start working on synthetic. So I can get rubber. Right now I am buying in my rubber from Brazil and that is going to get cut off. Eight percent for Mountaineer. Uh, so the next mountains are down there. However, I've put you in Valencia. You can get urban. The Panay incident. Well, our shock damage is severely reduced because oh, of weather effects. American and British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line in the war between Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked as an American vessel, the USS Panay was hit by two bombs and sunk, with three American and one Italian citizen killed and others wounded. In a separate attack on the HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. Libyan development, Libyan refineries, sounds good to me, oh, that was in green. Libyan, Italian Libya will regularly send for refinery oil. Oh, I see, they generate the oil from that, hmm. Right, because it's a puppet. In that case, I think I'm going to start working towards the dictator of Italy. Habai Chahar's political council has capitulated. The Habai Chahar political council government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated to Japan. I need to get the Brin class before that is actually researched. And we want to get the cruiser submarine 10% cheaper. The Indian National Congress triumphs in the provincial elections. Good for them. Anschluss of Austria. After a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported and German soldiers were greeted by cheering crowds. I would like to start switching out a couple more of these for regular old infantry, which we can afford another of. You know what, let's even do two. Slight shortage, but I can suck that up. It's fine. Gives me something to aim for, at least. And we do have some light infantry now equipment, so I think what I'm going to do is get a couple of those in production. Ready to start garrisoning, for example, Sardinia. And also French Africa. Mostly French Africa. Go 
Dios, el ansia. Yolfnar History Gaming, thank you very much for the raid. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's your game going? By the way, do you know there were regular Italian troops fighting versus the Japanese in China in the late war? I did not know that. It's interesting. Okay, so we can get another government modification. We don't need a theorist. We could probably do with the chief of the army. could even do with going to limited conscription. Although, considering that increases economic fatigue, I want to keep that as low as possible for as long as possible. Black shirt recruitment. The Mediterranean prison is broken. I guess that means either Suez or Gibraltar. Well, in that case... Let's get the Bonifica Integra Integral. And there's the Bryn class submarine. No other ships in 37. There's the Soldati Destroyer and the Frigate in 38. Naval Doctrine is still ongoing. Air power. You know what? Let's go ahead and start getting some of these secondary technologies, which I would otherwise forget to get. Like smokescreen. And now that we have access to the Brin sub... We probably want to go and get rid of the Archimede and Septembrini and start building Brins instead. Because the scary thing about Brins, by scary I mean awesome, is they're the same cost. They cost 10 more than the Septembrini. But they have a maximum range of like 2,000 kilometers further. Same speed, same torpedoes, and for the low, low price of 10 extra production, 2,000 more range. And they're more reliable too. Slightly more visible from the surface, but only just. Like these Brin class subs are flipping fantastic. My navy was perfectly fine last time. The big problem was France not falling. So I was dealing with the French navy and also the British navy. Um, Do I want to start getting strike bombers? I think I probably do. You know what? Yes, we're going to have a bit of a air support this time. Don't need to be a lot. Just a bit. We'll be fine. Oh, they cost more resources. Nope, identical resources too. Crazy! And yes, we'll definitely need to get the cruiser subs into Germany before we declare war. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Seeing as now we know that Gibraltar is impossible for submarines even. Wow, we are actually kicking the living daylights out of the nationalists. Uh, out of the Republicans. Died. Uh, I did not realize it had gone that far. Interesting. Well, in 
that case, what I'm going to say is, let's have you can't select that spot. Why not? I want you to get to these mountains so you can finish getting Sodding Mountaineer. Preferably before these guys take them. Although getting hill fighter as well would be nice. There do tend to be more hills than mountains. You'll get organizer. Infantry leader is kind of irrelevant. Mostly... No! <laughs> Two wars and he still failed to get mountaineer. Damn it! Spain, you were too efficient! Uh, hey, Japan. You need any volunteers? I can't send them. I don't have the ability anymore. Oh, well. Wait, is that a new fighter? Did I just snooze through the fact that I just researched the new fighters? I did. I completely did. Alright, so we definitely want to start building those G50s. Let's go. And I think I want to get like a full section. That'll do. And now we're going to need a source of rubber. Which will also mean synthetic refineries. I think it's time for the military modernization now. Let's get this production really ramping up. Now that I'm not doing the civilian factories anymore. <laughs> 